Hey Seekers, welcome to Madness Live. If you're new here, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. And if you'd like to become a member, link's in the description. <laughs> That's my spiel. Live chat alert. Hello Terry and Fancy Pants and Bobby Blue Eyes. What's up? What's up you say? <laughs> Step one. That's what's up. Step one. Oh, 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 oh. Step one. You know what? We're taking back our voices. Do you hear me? People can't shut you up anymore. It is time to stop that ridiculousness. Those people need to go back in the basement where they used to be. That's what I'm saying. Put them back in the basement. We're done with the chatter. Hello, Half Pint. Hello, Nevaeh. I've missed you. I'm telling you. You go, girl. Right, JP? Hello, Tippy Toes Runny Nose. Check this shit out. Hold on. <laughs> Guess, is, guess who's in the YT jail? Oh, Nadine. Nadine, they've got their eyes on you now. It can't be all the Twitters we retweeted at Team YouTube with a clip of you giving us permission to use your content. And then, silly boy, you gave permission. Then you and old Dee were having happy hour with tequila, right? T -t Tequila. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Fupapotamus is smart. She's been doing this long time. She knows how to distance herself when all hell's about to break loose. Of course, she was power eating, so he may have called and just chewed her ass. Because I'm guessing she told him how to strike. And uh, well, all the eyes are on him now. You should see the Twitter. <laughs> oh my God. So now, the team YouTube, who's been tagged in all the Twitters, has their eye on his channel. And here's where it begins. Come on, children. Let's play this. Monty, we're gonna use your content. Listen, us reaction channels, we love each other. We are a, a group now. I don't know how long he's in jail either, because you know what? I don't know, remember when he was in jail? I'm pretty sure that fell off because it, it lasts three months. So if you get a second strike while, um, and while the one still hasn't fallen off your channel, then he would be in YouTube jail for two weeks. I think it's just gonna be one week though. It's been, we'll, we'll go and look, but let's see what's up. Hello, Monty. If you're not subscribed to Stories from the Internet, this is Monty's channel. I have been subscribed for a long time. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Now, as you see here, it- Hello, Monty. It says this video has been removed for violating YouTube's policy on harassment and bullying. And the video in question was called, I love you, Yolanda with a red heart. And the video was a... Yes, half pint. Natter is in YouTube jail. Hey, Natter, you know what that means? Because he can still watch us all. You know what it means, Natter? You cannot comment and you cannot show up on Didi Lulu's channel. Oh, snap. Or, you know what? Why don't you just go live on Natty Daddy? Go ahead. We'll give you permission. <laughs> Please do. Please do in fact that turned into a video from July 17th 2022 now what's important about this is it says violated YouTube's policy on harassment and bullying and if you don't remember that stream well I do have it because I was sniping at the time and so wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute harassment and bullying no not Nadine Nadine doesn't harass or bully people. That's what he accuses us of. <laughs> okay. That stream, Nader was posturing in many ways. He was showing people's conversations. And Nadine was posturing? Have we ever seen Nadine posture? Remember when he wrapped his t-shirt around his head and threatened everybody? Yeah, I remember that one too. 
Oh, they're looking at his channel. Oh my goodness, this could be gold. This is step one. And he seemed to be wanting to expose people's nudes. Now, yes. This yes. He has been threatening. Oh, and we're going to go on. We're going to go over to Erie Pepperoni after this, and you're going to see what he did in another YouTuber's uh, chat. What him and Didi were saying and doing in another person's chat, which I believe is screenshot and going to be sent to Team YouTube. Really was concerning to a lot of people because, of course, he does have a lot of R, or should I say X-rated material from a lot of ladies. And a lot of people are really, really, really concerned that if their stuff... Well, shame on you ladies. Why would you ever send anyone on YouTube or the internet, any social media, any platform, your nudes? You know what? I don't even feel bad for you. I mean, it's against the law. It's a federal crime for him to... Um, do, like, release them, uh, yeah, definitely a federal crime. Came, or... Well, he's, he's in the YouTube jail right now. It might be just a week, but we'll see, because I don't know if the other one fell off. We'll go look. Got out there. Hi, Jan. What are they going to do? So, it is not any surprise to me that this video has been removed specifically for harassment and bullying because that is against terms of service when it comes to community guidelines. And community guidelines is way worse than a copyright strike. From what I see here, it's <coughs> questionable if he got a like a, a one week timeout, he could or he couldn't. I've seen it work out both ways. So we're not for sure. We're not sure for, we're not for sure. So if he goes live tonight, then they gave him a warning. Do you see what I'm saying? But at least we know that they have their eye on his channel. Okay? So we're not sure. We won't know uh, unless he goes live on his main channel. I believe the last time <laughs> we saw Nader El Shami take a week off YouTube, it was because he did get that one week timeout. Yeah. Because he, he called Monty a um, monkey and that ain't cool. Uh, and he did get a one week vacation uh, off of the tubes. So... I don't know if this time he got a warning. A warning stays on a long time. So I'm going to guess he's in the jail system. We can only hope, right? Yeah, and, and he, you still have another channel, Natter. I dare you. Go live on Natty Daddy. <laughs> oh, my God. You'll end up, you'll, you'll end up yeeted. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you had a good day, Bebop. And that wasn't too long ago, but I do believe it was more than three months. So that... That's what I think. I think the last time he was on in YouTube jail, it was over three months ago. It was either two or three months ago. And, and it falls off after 90 days. But if it didn't fall off yet, I mean, we can do the math right now. What am I saying? Let's go over and look. We can look right now. And we will know. We'll, we're gonna know. Let's scroll down. Uh, we gotta go. He goes live so much. We gotta like go way down here. Okay, it'll say I'm back. And he pretended like he wasn't in. He just pretend like he took a break, which is funny. Ready to go again. Okay, two months ago. Blah blah blah. I'm ready. I'm back. Two months ago. Isn't that the one? If it was two months ago, he's going to be out for two weeks. Let's see. I think that's the one that says, I'm back, guys. That's the one where he was on for a week because he, was, he got the community strike. Yeah, I think that's the one. Of course, he doesn't tell you the truth. Um, right here. Two months ago. After the baked rigatoni disaster. <laughs> um, I think, so what, if it was two months ago, right here, that means he will be away from us for uh, two weeks. We'll see. 
He can't go on Dee Dee Lulu's channel. He cannot um, leave comments anywhere. You are literally silenced. That's, That's where uh, Katie MFW made her mistake. She went live to tell people that she was, you know, taken off for a week and people reported that she was back on her other channel and they took them all down. They don't play like that. YouTube does not play. Strike. Terms of service strike for a community guidelines violation most likely fall off. Now, here's another one. This will or is a community guidelines strike. It is against terms of service to harass and bully people or Really? Then they got a lot of videos to go over because he has a lot of harassment videos. In fact, the Natty Daddy channel is all harassment. He'll probably show up on Dee Dee's channel. Ooh, then that will get taken down. Everybody's watching. Don't worry about that. How many chances do you get? Um, if you still had the one on there, because it looks like it was two months ago, this will be a second one. And then the third one, uh, they can terminate you. They can terminate you with the second one. So if they, they can terminate you with the first one. If they go through his videos, because everybody's been tweeting to Team YouTube, a bunch of clips... If um, they go through his channel and they see um, a, a lot of nefarious things, um, oh man, the, they can just take it down without three strikes. Anybody for that matter on YouTube. So do I know for sure if he's suspended <laughs> for a week? I have no idea. What I can say is if I haven't seen him in the next two or three days, then I know for sure. Other than that, I'm only guessing and we're speculating. And I really don't want to do it. Yeah, I, call, I like to call this step one. And then step two is going to be, um, so he'll be on, if he's gone for a week, if he don't show up in the next couple days, then we know he's out for a week or two. Um, and then all those uh, counter uh, that the reaction channels sent back to him, um, if those all, he doesn't prove that he's going to um, sue anybody in a court of law, for uh, the copyright issue, which we already put the videos up. Um, I'll show you this one. Uh, Troll Detective did a much better one than I did because he got him saying, uh, yeah, hold on. Um, and if that comes back to bite him, because he did give us permission to, um, he definitely gave us permission to share his content. And so that's all been tagged to Team YouTube. Um, so they can see that he gave us permission. And um, that way, uh, that's going to all come back on him. And, and it may cost him, yeah, the finale. It might be the finale, people. So check this out. This troll detective, he put up a really good one. Better than mine. I love troll detective. If you're not, if you're not subscribed, please do. Troll detective. Dance it out. Ben, 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 ben. Ho! Oh, reaction channels. Use your talent, take my video, react on it. But not to do it when I'm live. Boom. I have never sniped your live stream. You lied. You gave us permission and you lied. Yes, this has all been sent to Team YouTube. What to do it when I'm live? Just don't do it when I'm live. I said no problem. 
No. The action channel, use your talents, take my video, react on it. Not to do more than back. No. The action channel, use your talents, take my video, react on it. Yeah, let's keep playing it over. Over and over and over, Nader. See, here's the problem with you, Nader. You start having a little happy hour with the Didi Lulu, and you went on a striking spree. I heard it's up to, I don't even remember. It's over 137 videos now. Yeah, right here is his permission. He put it out to the reaction channels. He literally said, reaction channel, use your talent, take my video, react on it, but not to do it when I'm live. I followed what he said. We know. We get it. There's our permission. I've been watching Omegon, by the way. The Omegon channel. Yup, yup, yup. Oh my God. Then I watched this. Uh, <laughs> I watched <laughs> this lawyer, uh, Rakita, Rakita Law on YouTube. And NBC, he was doing a commentary on an NBC video, and NBC copyright struck him. So he did a video showing you how to properly do a counter, right? A counter strike. Oh my God, it was so funny. Because he's like, first of all, they can reject it if you don't include these things. And I'm like, oh shit, I didn't re include that with the Letitia strike. So I got to include that, but, because I got to do it again. But anyway, he was so funny because he goes, first put this in, then put this in, then put this in, and then you can say whatever the hell you want after that. And he went on a spree. NBC sucks. Nobody likes them anyway. They're a bunch of idiots. Nobody would even watch them if I didn't react to them. I mean, he went on and on. He's a lawyer. I was dying laughing because he goes, some fool has to read all of this. I go, oh my God. So I can put in my Counter-Strike to Letitia I can put in that they need to go and investigate all the disgusting things she said. I, I'm putting it all in there. I'm putting it all in there. All her videos, all the stuff she said. <laughs> but I only reacted to the clothes she was wearing when she was dancing. That was it, which is totally under fair use. Criticism, critique, or commentary. And those are the top three. Those are the ones that always win in court. So you got to make sure you put in there exactly those words um, because those are the ones that always win in court. You've watched Nick Ricada? Yeah. Yeah, well, that was an old one, but um, uh, somebody put it up. Okay, so let's go to Erie. This was like, I'm trying to think. What was I going to show you on Erie's? I'm in such a good mood because he got in trouble and YouTube is fine. Yeah, he is a pretty funny lawyer, isn't he? Um, he, um, there we go. Um, he, he's got all eyes on him now, including YouTube, which, which I wanted. I wanted Team YouTube to put their eyes on his channel. And people are including that he has two channels. Let me see where it is. Oh, I know where it is. Okay. I know where it is. Does he like to stay up late or something? All right, I gotta go to her channel. It's easier. Okay. So apparently one night, uh, Nadine and Dee Dee Lulu went into Jessica Messica's live stream. Okay, so Jessica Messica was one of his mods that supposedly he has nudes of her. And she's even said that he is threatening to um, release those nudes, which is a federal, that's a no-no, revenge P, um, corn. Re Revenge corn. Yeah. He 
It was 10 days ago. I'm trying to find it. Three weeks ago, nine days ago. Oh, here they are. <laughs> Tina B's been a member for 20 months. Oh my God, I love you. I gotta get to get, I gotta put down the 24 months, send gifts out. I always do. If you've been a member for 24 months, I send you a gift, a handmade gift. Not some junk from the Dollar Tree. I don't even work like that. I was funny, I was watching Candle, Candle Lady today. She's going back and forth with Ryan Up Church. Ryan Up Church is, you know, creating a stir in the in the true crime community. So it's kind of entertaining. It's a little bit. It, it's a little bit entertaining. It's really not that exciting. But anyway, so I, I haven't watched a Candle Wax in a while, and um, I was laughing because she was like, "I just don't get how people can make candles for less than. It, I can't even make a candle for three dollars." And I'm like. <clears throat> I know exactly how they do it, sweetheart. Email me. Nomadnesslife at yahoo.com. I can help you out. I'm glad you're a member of the Seeker family. I love that you do that. They got um, photos of my trip and um, blah, blah, blah. They got, they, got, they got to see my private life because that's one of their perks, right? Um, and they get gifts. We do giveaways. I've given out thousands of dollars and stuff. Designer purses. Um, all kinds of things. That's an every summer thing. I give away Jessica Moore bags. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, so they get excited about that. I like up church, but I don't agree with everything he's been saying. I don't either. I don't either. And I'm not a big fan of his, I gotta be honest. Um, because I think he does everything for views, even this, firing up the glare and, um, you know, upsetting candle wax. Um, yeah, I, I don't agree with any of that. Sorry, I don't. I try to be very generous. I really do, because I really appreciate all of you, especially the members. I mean, you keep my channel alive, I swear. I did have a good time. Yes, I did. All right, so get a load of this shit. Oh, my God. So, Dee Dee and Nadine got drunk one night. They went into Jessica Mac... Hold on. Hello. They went into Jessica Massica's live stream and started chatting in there. She used to be one of their mods until she'd had enough. I'm not a big fan of hers, but this was not, this ain't good. This ain't good. All right, hold on. They locked up and that's just. Hold on, I got started over because I was watching it. I am going to do fair use and react to. <laughs> I love Eerie. Eerie pepperoni. If you're not, subscribe. Yes, Dee Dee has a channel. It's Dee Dee. Lulu, D-E-E, D-E-E, -E -E, Lulu, L-O-U, L-O-U. You'll find it. You can just put in D-D Lulu, um, and it'll come right up. All right, so if you're not subscribed, you heard Jessica talking about it. Oh, my God, it's so bad. We're going to see it. We're going to see it. I am going to mute it, and you can read it when the screenshots go up because I'm not going to let those words on my channel. So this is Eerie Pepperoni. If you're not subscribed, please do. We're gonna do a little uh, commentary. No criticism, because she does great work. Hello, hello, hello. How are you, beautiful people? <clears throat> By the way, Natter, I'm using Eerie Pepperoni's content, not yours. He's so dumb, let me tell you something. Can I tell you something real quick, how dumb he is? So when he looked on the the video when you go under copyright in your studio you can see anybody that used your stuff and then he's like look at a hundred percent a hundred percent he didn't go over and look at the video because that's not what the hundred percent means uh, that's not what the hundred percent means you dummy oh my god so he even struck get a load of this he even struck channels that didn't even use his content oh my god yeah it's just crazy it's crazy. 
Why, hello, Cracky. Uh, hello, Erie Pepperoni. Love you. I'm doing great. Much better than you, because I am not a walking piece. She calls him Cracky. <laughs> the shit such as yourself. She got hit, too. Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Eerie Reacts. So, of course, it's going to be another video on this piece of crap because, you know what? Attention needs to be brought to this, and hopefully, eventually, YouTube wakes yep. up and does something about him. Yes, I told, I told Eerie to screenshot, uh, take those screenshots, go on Twitter, and you just tag at Team YouTube. And they respond over there so good, which is why I think his eyes... Okay, so I sent over um, that small clip where he gave permission to the reaction channels to use his content. And um, I just... I, I, I went in and added everybody that's on YouTube to please retweet it, and they all did. And look at, kaboom, ha ha ha. So before we proceed with last night's stream react, I wanted to show something that needs to be shown. Before Mr. Cracky El Shammy here went live, he decided to invade yet another creator's live stream. Yep. And this creator happened to be Jessica Messica. Now I want everyone to pause for a moment. I understand that we may not be her number one fans. Push that aside. Right. Focus on the goal. Push the it goal aside. Is to expose this piece of crap matter of shabby. Yeah. And right is the abuser of women. The threat he's threatened people's lives. If he don't get his way, he ain't a dom, in my opinion. Allegedly, he's a sociopath. Right and wrong is wrong. And what he did... He could even be that level higher uh, because he doesn't fear jail. He said prison is soft in Canada. <laughs> wow. Okay. Enjoy yourself. Going back. In Jessica's chat, much like what he did in Gary and Filter's chat, is hella wrong. Hell wrong. So let's take a look at some of the messages. Not only cracky, but... Mrs. Wannabe Cracky Elf. Lisa says, Team YouTube hasn't done anything about those three jack-offs. <laughs> Chantel has broke every term of service. You know what? And that can go on for a year. Um, but they it will catch up to her. Yeah, she insults women. She cyber bullies. She um, is high on uh, while she's live. She's taking edibles while she's live. She smokes dope while she's live. Uh, she's breaking lots of terms of service, but trust me, the Twitter is definitely on top of it. It takes a while, though. Oh, Shammy decided to leave in Jessica Messica's chat. Oh, and before you continue watching this video, major trigger warning. Yeah. As you will see in the screenshots that follow, he he's disgusting. I'm going to mute it when she puts up the screenshots, and then you can read them yourself. Okay. You know, lots of mocking essay, and <clears throat> it's just, yeah, be careful. Protect your mental health, people. So if, if this is something you do not... Yeah, if this is something that... W yeah, this is what they did, uh, not her and Dee Dee in Jessica Messica's live stream. I want to see at the moment. Um, please, please stop the video now. Once again, trigger warning. All right, so I'm going to let her put up the screenshots. And then we, we, we they're not hard to read. <laughs> Except for he doesn't know how to use punctuation and it's kind of choppy English. But uh, he, spe he, he knew what he was saying. You'll get the gist of it. Fear talk of essay. This is what he put in somebody's live stream, Jessica Messica's live stream. They went into her, her live and he started um, harassing her. This is the stuff he said. He 
So right here is proof that it would be revenge. Or soon to come. Now, in, to add a little context, um, he's basically uh, referring to some messages that were exchanged between him and Jessica when they were on good terms. Yeah, she, she did send, uh, yeah, it wasn't good. And I don't, I don't feel sorry for her for that because she chose, and you know, uh, er, things stay on the internet forever. These as well. Here. Please, ladies, don't ever do that. Oh boy. Can you believe the stuff he put in her live stream? Mm mm mm. Mm 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 mm. Yep. And I think Dee Dee joined along. I can't even believe what an abusive human he is to women. I, I cannot believe it. It just blows my mind. Hi, True Blood. This is um, a live stream of what Nader put in Jessica Messica's live stream while she was live. Isn't that horrible? Yeah, that's Nader. That he needs, t Team YouTube really needs to get him off this platform. Running commercials and stuff um, on, on a man like this is ridiculous. Make it make sense because it makes no sense, right? If you can dish it, you can take it. Let's continue. I were running an Nadine in public, I'd end up in jail, right? He is a predator, yes. Yes, he used his platform um, to get women to do Facebook. They did, like, Facebook calls, um, and he would get them to send him pictures, and it was like a whole ring of just disgustingness. Of your obsession with CSA and why you cannot return to Egypt. I have questions. Now, before you proceed, the following messages are extreme, extremely triggering. I haven't even seen the, these next ones. I kind of stopped there. So I haven't even seen the next ones that he put up. So let me, um, uh, I hope he gets deported. I really do. Okay, let me see what this one is. Whoa. Okay. It's on you. Something else, ain't he? Ain't he something else? <laughs> yeah, they're, well, they got to do it in a specific order. But right now he got a community strike, which will put you off of YouTube. Are y'all going to be watching Cynthia Beaumont's new show on Apple TV? No, I don't even know who she is. I don't even know who she is. I'll tell you one thing, House of Dragon is so good. Yeah, isn't he a real gem? It's revenge porn and it's a federal crime. And I don't yep. think he cares because he's uh, what I consider him to be a career criminal. And he's gotten away with it. He's gotten by the system too many times. And you know, he's one of those people that slipped through the cracks. And unfortunately, now society has to deal with the likes of him until something major happens where he's permanently locked up. And that's just unfortunate. If the link so that you can see for yourselves the full context of what... Oh, you watch Cynthia and she's horrible? <laughs> Adam Barta worked with her. Yeah, I know that. He's always trying to promote 
Mama June, and I'm not real happy with Mama June. Uh, $25,000 a month she makes, and she won't even give Pumpkin money um, to help with Honey Boo Boo. And she's been with Pumpkin for four years and has not gotten any child support to help. She's raised um, Honey Boo Boo, and that makes me sad. I don't like women that do that. I mean, she literally sat there with Pumpkin and a lawyer and said she wasn't going to give her uh, two grand a month. That's what uh, the, the mediator said would be acceptable because it's under 10% of her monthly income, but nope, she wouldn't give it up. I said, wow, <laughs> you're a totally different person, aren't you? See what happens when you go on the swan and they make you look good? Yeah, she used to love that little girl. That, that little girl was her life. Her kids were her life. So I'm not, a, I'm not pleased with uh, Mama June, so I will not be supporting her in any way. Um, when she took off with uh, What's-His-Face, um, I was disgusted by her. So there's that. There's like that. The final shots on this situation. You cry when you get... Ah! I have to... Uh, <laughs> she reads it. Oh, my God, Nutter. My vacation to see my grandbaby was just gold. I'll show you all the things I bought her. I'll show you all the things I bought her. So anyway, these are the messages that Nader left on uh, Jessica. He was putting this in Jessica Messica's live while she was live. And Dee Dee joined in. And she's just a disgusting pig, too. She needs to go, too. I, 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 I can't even with these people. I really can't. So if you didn't know... You can read this. There was a video called I Love You, Yolanda, but in there he was um, harassing and bullying somebody, which he does in all his natty daddies, and most of his cooking videos. So once YouTube starts looking around, this was from, this video right here was from July. It's from July. So they're looking at his channel. They're taking the time. Thanks to the Twitter and all the tags at Team YouTube, this is far more dangerous. Um, the things he's doing are far more dangerous than the stupid shit that Foodie Beauty does, okay? So this is so important. This is so important that this gets taken care of first. Yeah, these are adults in their 40s. Can you even? And to think you can go on YouTube, which is called Broadcast Yourself. I think you can go on there and start uh, and be a predator and, and, and start demanding things from your members and from, um, and, and you, you get these people in there that want to be a part of something, I guess, and, and then it gets real cynical and it gets really weird and very scary. So this is scary. Foodie Beauty's an idiot. She does dumb shit. Um, yeah, she should not be high online. She should not be smoking. She should not be drunk. She should not do any, a lot of the shit she does. But this is far more dangerous right now. Far more dangerous. And I felt the same way about Letitia. She was punching her pregnant stomach and all this stuff, which by the way is gonna go into the counter strike. In the box. After I put the things that are necessary. I'm gonna have them go look at these videos. I will, I will, I will put in the name of the videos, the timestamps, you name it. I will do it. For real. How dare you, you petulant child? Anyway, hi, May Bella. Okay, so let me show you. Mm. I'll show you a lot of the things I bought. My beautiful. Did she get some? Yeah, I think so. I think she's in jail. Amen. Okay, so let me see something. All right, I gotta bring these up individually. Okay, so the things I, the things I bought my granddaughter. <laughs> okay, we'll start out with, oh my God, there's so many things. And my son, because God bless them. Okay, so this was, mm, I hate that. 
This was uh, the, f the first thing. A princess bath. But look at the price. It used to be like $75. Anyway, so I bought the princess bath and it is adorable. Down here, there's like jets. So when she gets older, she has her own little jacuzzi. I can't with myself. And yes, you just keep filling the reservoir and you can rinse the baby. It's $61. It was so worth it. There's the little jet things. It bubbles and everything. And you can take this off and then she can use it as a bath when she's older. But look at this. Is it not the best? Oh, yeah. We had a spa day. See, when they're a baby, they lay in it. And then when they get older, they just sit in it. It was the best thing. Isn't it adorable? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I now show you. <laughs> oh, my God, I spent so much money. I can't with myself. But you know what? When things are needed, they're needed. So I got my son this. <laughs> he goes, I said, because um, I got him an air fryer two years ago. Well, the air fryer died. And I said, air fryer so out of date. It is. This is the new thing. Oh, yeah. This is everything in one. It is a 19-core air fryer, toaster, oven, convection, roaster with rotisserie, and dehydrator. It's a 10-in-1 countertop. It's got a recipe book and everything. It is amazing. It is amazing. See all the stuff in there? And you can choose what you want to do. You can even make a bagel. They say if you take a frozen pizza and put it in here, it tastes like it came straight from the damn uh, pizza shop. It's so good. 10 cooking presets. It's awesome. You can dehydrate fruit and all kinds of stuff. And then they got a basket. It becomes an air fryer. Yep, this is the new thing. Everybody. <coughs> and it came with all this stuff. The basket for air frying. Um, this is a handle that removes the basket or the skewer rack without getting burned. This is the rotisserie forks. If you want to do, you know, a full on. You have this one? Do you love it, Jan? This is the skewer rack if you want to make kebabs. There's a drip tray and a wire rack, cooking steaks and whatever. And then there's a fry basket and a crumb tray. So it even has that basket too if you want to just fry stuff in that basket. So I bought that. I'm always a healthy helper, Tim. I can't help it. If I see things that need to be done, I do them. Stop it, Jackson. Oh, my God. He has not left me alone since I got home. I'm not even playing. I am dead serious. Okay, so then I got this for the princess. Can you even? It's one of those big water. It's got things that move around in the water. And it's for tummy time. I have no self-control when it comes to children, right? I don't. Or my children. So I got her the tummy time mat. So it's like a warm water bed. And she's doing so good with her head and her neck. And uh, it was just fun. So I got it. You just fill it with warm tap water. And it's got the visual stimulation, motor skills, works your muscles. Oh, I know. It, it is so adorable. And then I got this, um, which ended up being amazing. Um for more tummy time, because, you know, sometimes you don't feel like filling that thing up. You guys were all a part of it. I told you that I was going to buy her things um, with the Cash App money. It was all going towards it. I had $400. Um, so um, she, I went to the mall, uh, got her a whole bunch of clothes, um, and you guys were all a part of it. So thank you for being a part of it. She's three months old. Okay, so it's this thing. And it's wonderful because it's for all ages. It's a play pit, a play mat. It's comfy. It's soft. It's got a pop-up mesh. Um, it's got the tummy time. Oh, my God, this thing. You're getting on my nerves thing. It's got the tummy time um, elephant pillow to lay their little heads on. I know, it's crazy. So yeah, it can be used for many things as they It's very adorable. 
It's, it's very adorable. So I got that. You buy one thing, get five. That's just how I like to work. Okay, so... Hold on. Um, then I got a bunch... Oh, God, this thing right here. Oh, God, you know me. For real. <laughs> Her own tablet. <laughs> well, look at the price. It was on sale. And I love it because it, it is amazing. You can even hotspot your phone to it. So we went to a restaurant and she was very fussy. She was very fussy. Uh, so we brought the tablet. We threw it in the diaper bag anyway. We already had it all ready for YouTube kids. It has 32 gigabytes of Wi-Fi or 32 gigabytes. It's Wi-Fi. It's a learning tablet. You can do um, parent control. It's got YouTube kids and Netflix kids on it. So we just downloaded the YouTube kids and we took it with us. And then we set up the hotspot on, you know, one of the parents' phones and we took it to the restaurant. Well, she was really fussy because she was in her car seat and she didn't want to be in her car seat. So we set it on the table because it's got a stand and she literally watched little learning shows till she fell asleep. I said they're, they're, they're amazing in a pinch, but she'll use it when she's older. Um, so I had to get her a tablet because I got, you know, the Nomadness Baby a tablet and, it, and he loves his tablet. He loves his tablet. Um, they can learn so many things. You know what I'm saying? It's not like it's a babysitter. They just can learn. Yeah, so I was getting some nice stuff. And and you know what? And I just had a wonderful time. My three oldest are teenagers now. Oh my God, the price of shoes. Yeah, the price of clothes. I went to H&M. And in the back of H&M, they have environmentally friendly clothes. So there's no whatever weird materials or starches that are in the materials. Um, they don't have any of that. They're so soft. It's like butter on their skin. I bought so many clothes. I, I don't even know, like $300 worth. Um, because she's growing, her length is growing out of the three month. So I got a bunch of six month. Um, so we can go forward, you know, in the next four weeks. Grandparents, give your grandkids all the love, hugs, and kisses you can give them. Take many pictures of them and spend as much time. Yeah, um, absolutely. And uh, yeah, it was, it was about a $4,000 uh, trip, but I planned for it, right? I planned for it. And so when I save up again, I will go back. I will go back because I don't want to live my life not knowing her. I made her laugh. Oh my God. It was so funny. But I'm one of them people, I'm so calm. Like I don't get worked up when a baby is, you know, frustrated. So I was doing all different things. And I finally like, I don't know, I got her in a, like a football hold and I was like saying stuff to her. I said, come on now. Yo, you want a booby? You looking for mommy's booby? And I was shaking her while I was saying it. You're looking for the booby. And she just started busting out laughing. I don't even know. She might have understood. I said, you're an AI intelligent child. Like, you ain't even right. You know too much. You're too too smart. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm doing that. I am actually, here's the deal. I don't know if you've seen this. It's mostly on Facebook. But there are these books. Uh, with all your pictures you save. You can create books, which is pretty cool. Oh my God, I absolutely love her. I absolutely love her. She's just absolutely gorgeous. She is so beautiful. And when she smiles, it, it's just her whole face. It's, she's just amazing. And she'll always smile at you as soon as you look at her. What happened? I lost my beautiful grandson to a drunk driver in 2014. He had just turned four. Oh my God. I am so sorry to hear that. That is horrifying. I wasn't only a Nana, but I was a mama too. That is horrible. Horrible.
they never learn, do they? They continue. Okay, you know what? This is a chihuahua alert. He wants to say hi because he can't stand not being with me since I left. That is a hard life going forward. I can't even imagine the pain your family is going through and went through. I don't care how many years go by. That is something you never, ever get over. Ever. That is a hole in your soul. I hate that shit. All right, so a viewer's request. Um, is, is there anyone else that I wanted to cover besides this whole Nadine thing? Which, by the way, he got a community guideline strike. And um, we're going to see how long, if he got put in YouTube jail. But at least we know that YouTube eyes are on his channel. Because the channel that they gave the community guideline strike to was from July. So that means they're paying attention and they're looking over his channel, which is not going to be good for him. I, I have no idea. Oh, I know what we could cover. Shit. I wonder. Here we go. Dude, we had a storm so bad. It came in. Listen, I don't even know if I saved it on my pictures because my stupid... Phone. Hold on. Which way am I going here? Okay, I'm going this way. Okay, I can show you some of this. I can show you some of this. So we took a drive after the storm. For real. Uh, this was a frontline wind that came in at about 75 miles an hour. And Mr. Tiggs lost his shit. And here's the thing. There was no thunder involved, no lightning. It was a straight line wind. It comes in as a shelf. You know it's going to be bad when you see a shelf cloud, okay? So anyway, it was like this quick. <laughs> and it just, power was out every. Uh, listen, and then we took a drive because I always have to take a drive. I always have to look at the carnage. I'm just that way. I like natural disasters. I don't know why. I'm weird. Okay. Hold on. Eh. So we took a drive. I gotta see if I can get it to play. I should be able to get it to play. Where is it? Where's the little button? Where's the button? Okay, you're killing me. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my God. Why won't that play? I think it's probably stuck in my... Yep, yeah, okay, I see. It's trying to download. from my my Apple storage. So much crap. Um, let me go to import. Recent. Let's see if I can get it to play there. Train. It's like the honey boo-boo house. Oh, here we go. Okay. Hold on. I don't even know what I'm doing. Technical difficulties, people. See, I have to bring it from the cloud. Error. Ugh. Hate you. So, I don't understand. I constantly go through the storage on my phone. I don't know. I go in there to look at what I have to get rid of. And I know people who have 1,500 photos in their phone. No problem. It's such a piece of shit. Because I do social media, so I have so much data and storage anyway. So down this road, this tree went completely across the road. Trees were down everywhere. I was filming them. It was crazy. Um, and we were supposed to have storms till like midnight tonight. But it seems like when I looked at the radar, it, they went below us. I said, oh, thank God. 
Just stay down there, Illinois, Indiana. Just stay down there. Don't bother us. It's terrible. So what do you guys... Okay, it's going to be viewer's choice. What do you guys want to watch? Because I'm like wide awake and, and I'm bored. I can't stand watching Foodie Beauty. Absolutely can't stand her content. Let's see. Do you want to see if... Um, do you guys want to see if uh, Shani's put out a new video? So she put out a... She put out a... Um, like a video for her birthday or some shit. I don't know. But... But um, she took it down. She always takes them down. Because nobody felt sorry for her because their kids are in foster care. So why should we feel bad about your birthday? Right? Okay, good. So Instagram has been... Listen, all of them have been, back, been acting up. All of them. YouTube was acting up today. Instagram's been acting up. Um, I don't know what's going on. Maybe we're about to have a full-on... Maybe, maybe we're about to have a full-on... You know, cyber down. Oh, those are those new sorbets. Those island sorbets. Has anybody tried them? Has anybody tried those? They say they're amazing and they have a fruity shell and everything. I've never tried them, but everybody says they're the most amazing thing they've ever had. <laughs> so Instagram's not, it's not connecting. I don't know why. I don't need that. I, don't, I have no idea why Instagram's acting out. We'll try again. So life's kind of boring because... Um, because um, Letitia's in jail. <laughs> Still makes me laugh. Yep, Instagram's not coming up at all. So that's been acting up all day. Uh, YouTube was acting up this morning and part of the day. So I don't know what's going on. Going through some glitches, I guess. I don't know, what do you guys wanna watch on the tubes? Trying to think of what else out there was. There's this girl, but I'm not really interested in her. She's kind of, I don't know, she's just young and she's kind of stupid like Chantal is. And I'm not into like ignorant stuff. Like pretending this and that just to get attention. What's going on now? Could be the wind outside is messing with the internet. Yep. Because look at, look at YouTube now. But it could be YouTube. This is what's going on. I've had this happen on my phone, on the computer, and then Instagram's doing it. But I don't know. It's not my internet or I wouldn't be live. It's weird. Is everything still good on your end? Is it glitchy at all? I may have to say good night. Is it glitchy? Hello? 88 people? Anyone? Are we live? The green light's still on. Right there. The counter's going down right there. Huh? Anyone? Oh my God, this is so weird. There is no chat. Am I even live? I'm gonna go look. I don't know if it'll even come up. What is happening? What's happening? There's no chat. YouTube won't even come up on my computer. What the? Nothing. Nothing. 
This is so weird. You guys are creeping me out. There's no chat. None. I see nothing. Internet's still fine. Oh my god. This is Twilight Zone shit. Okay, so nobody can chat. I've got it on live chat. Oh my god. Okay, I'll let y'all go. We'll figure this out. I don't know what's going on. I don't even know if I'm recording anymore. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye now. Oh my god. <laughs>